What's going on everybody? It's Roll Rifle here and thanks for checking out this video. And this one I'm going to be showing you guys all kinds of different things we're about to be seeing in this Season 2 of Destiny 2. So if you guys end up enjoying this video, consider leaving a like. Your guys' support will always be greatly appreciated. Also, in case you're wondering who ended up winning my Destiny 2 giveaway, my video that I just uploaded previously, the Skull Lost Easter Egg one, I announced the winner in that video. So if you guys are curious on who ended up winning, you can go check out that video. And also, at the end of this video, I'll be discussing a future large giveaway that I'll probably be doing next month. It just depends on how well my videos end up doing. But this future large giveaway that I have planned, I'll be giving one lucky winner a chance to choose from an Xbox One, PS4, or Nintendo Switch. Now then, let's go ahead and jump into this. First things first, let's go ahead and show off the new faction armor that we'll be seeing. As you guys can see here, starting with new monarchy. Looks nice and clean. Here's the future war cult, and I don't know about you, but I'm not really digging this so much. But hey, we're all going to have different opinions, I'm just being honest. And lastly up on the list that I'll be showing you guys is, of course, the Dead Orbit faction. This, in my opinion, is the best aesthetically looking out of them all. Okay, so yeah, that's the new armor. Now let's go ahead and move on to some of the new weapons that we'll be seeing. We don't really have much of a selection here, but as you can see, Dead Orbit has a linear fusion rifle, New Monarchy has an auto rifle, and Future War Cult has an auto rifle. I'm not exactly positive if these are the reward weapons for whichever faction ends up winning the grind, but if it is, I'd honestly have to go with the odd one out, which is a good thing because I typically play as the Dead Orbit faction, and it seems that we'll end up getting a linear fusion rifle. Not exactly sure how this is going to play out, but if it's like the man of war then it's going to be beast and as you guys may know of course auto rifles are the meta at the moment so i don't doubt that new monarchy auto and that future war cult auto is bad whatsoever but i feel like i already have good enough auto rifles and not enough linear fusion rifles this right here will be the donning armor that we'll be seeing as some of you may know that is what the christmas event was titled back in the day on destiny 1 and I'm not going to lie, this armor does look nice. I'm digging it. Anyways, now let's move on to the Iron Banner armor. As you can see, this is what it looks like. At the far left, we have the Warlock. In the middle, the Hunter. And the far right is the Titan. They look okay. I mean, I'm not a huge fan of them, to be completely honest with you. I mean, all together, though, it seems like Iron Banner is going downhill. As you can see, here are the weapons in Season 2 that we'll be able to obtain. And once again, these look like reskins. So these probably were already made before, you know, of course, Season 2 was about to launch. And they didn't hear all the complaints of Iron Banner having so many reskins. But yeah, still looking like reskins here. I don't know how you guys feel about this, but I'm just voicing my opinion here. Anyways, next up I have you guys the new Trials of the Nine weapons. And I have to say, these look pretty freaking sweet. I just like Trials of the Nine weapon designs in general just because the style of them are pretty new to all of us. They have like that futuristic style. I mean, I even had my channel redesigned around the Trials of the Nine just because I love the style that they have. I mean, as you guys saw my intro, and if you go to click on my channel, my banner actually has RG made out of like the Trials of the Nine symbols. But all in all, I am really digging these and excited to get my hands on them. Anyways, next let's get into the Season 2 Ghost. I have to say, these look freaking insane. I am really, really digging the style of them. They look extremely different, as you guys can see. I mean, look at these. Personally, out of all of these though, this one or this one are my favorites. As you can see, this one looks like a Trials of the Nine Ghost, and this one right here just looks freaking sweet. I don't even know what to make of it. Looks kind of similar to Trials of the Nine, but the other one that I showed you guys looks more like the new Trials style. So yeah, how these ghosts that we're going to be obtaining in Season 2, I feel like Bungie really outdid theirself with them. I'm digging pretty much all of the designs that they have shown. So, up next I got for you guys the exotic sparrows that we're going to be able to get our hands on. Starting with this first one right here. It looks similar to the Dragon's Breath rocket launcher out of Destiny, except now of course a sparrow. I personally like this one more than this exotic sparrow, but hey, I feel like both of these that they showed are nicely done. They're different and they don't look like complete reskins like a lot of the weapons that we have been seeing here lately. These actually look unique. They have more of their own style. Okay, so last up on the list I have you guys the exotic ships. And these ships are actually looking exotic. And by me saying that, I'm saying, you know, they look unique and they don't look like complete reskins. And that's a good thing because a lot of the community is extremely aggravated with the reskins, including myself. I don't like seeing that. I feel like there's no creativity behind that whatsoever. Before I wrap this up, though, I wanted to let you guys know in case you guys are wondering who ended up winning my Destiny 2 giveaway for any platform. I just recently made a video 
talking about the winner. So if you guys want to go check that out, just click this video that will pop up on the screen. And also I do have plans to maybe make a large future giveaway sometime next month. It just depends on how well my videos do. My plan out of this future large giveaway is to give away one console and the winner gets to choose what console he or she wants. I'm out of here though everybody. Thanks for taking time to watch and listen. And remember to stay safe out there and try to avoid sleeping in pee. It can get pretty nasty. Peace.